Good morning, everyone. It's Melanie from Mimi's Front Porch. Today, I am working on disposal and reclamation. Because of the business that my mister has, uh, I've mentioned before that he has computer repair business, we end up with lots and lots of parts and computers that are unusable. We have one place in our county that we can dispose of these parts and computers, or any electronics for that matter, and we don't get out there really often. Here comes Lulu. Uh, but we go as often as we can to drop off any kind of electronics because we can't drop anything at our regular convenience centers where we do our general recycling and uh, garbage disposal. So, anyway, today I'm working on destroying laptops. And I love tearing stuff up. It's one of my favorite things to do. So, I get to do it. That's another part of my little job in our computer business. I used to pull the components, the circuit boards, motherboards, video cards, different things like that, and I would get a mess of them together, sell it on eBay for people who were reclaiming precious metals. Gold, palladium, platinum, silver, copper, things like that. Well, I don't think copper's considered precious, but it's pretty doggone expensive and people really like it. So, I was selling those on eBay and I was doing pretty well with it and then the market was flooded and it was going so cheap that it was not worth my time and the storage space that it took up because our computer shop, uh, we are fortunate enough to work in an area where there are a lot of home-based businesses and we used to have a place out on the street. We had a, a a building on a highway um, but when we relocated we just moved our business into the lower half of the house so we live upstairs and the business is downstairs Chinese restaurant style it works out very well and I have good storage space but it's kind of limited and it, it, it can get pretty overwhelming pretty quick. So today is a fun day for me. We had the grandchildren yesterday. So today I'm just kind of keeping things low key and thought I'd tear some stuff up. So we have the tool bag and the vacuum and we have Teddy and Batman Pez standing by. Miles left those there yesterday. I don't dare move them because when he comes back, he'll look for them. Um, I'm going to work on four laptops today. And so I'll just go through and show you a little bit of the process. Not a whole lot because there's a zillion videos on YouTube about how to take these things apart. Um, things like that. But I'll just point out some of the key things that you're going to look for if you decide you ever want to do gold reclamation from computer parts um, and just about everything you own now has a computer chip of some sort in it and it's bound to have some sort of precious metal. So there you go. I'm going to do the destruction and the mister, being the engineer in the family, is actually going to do the chemical process on it and we'll probably do a video on that when he gets going on it but I have a lot of stuff to tear up. I probably have 25 laptops to work on. I did five the other day and I just I do four or five at a time. Today I'm working on four and just having a kind of a relaxing day. Now tools for this. A variety of screwdrivers. When you're working on laptops they have tiny parts, tiny screws. So you're going to want a good set of very small screwdrivers. I use needle nose pliers, regular pliers. What else? That might be about it. I also keep a little uh, vacuum on hand because sometimes you open these up and they are 
filthy. You never know what you're going to see. So uh, I'll show you my little setup here and we'll get going. Okay, so what you see here is I've got four laptops and these are actually uh, not terribly old, but I'm going to work on four of them today. I've got a little cup for my screws. I've got a couple of sets of really small screwdrivers. I've got a little uh, Black & Decker vac here and I have my pink tool bag. Um, my honey purchased this for me a few years back and we are just constantly adding more and more tools to it that I find I need. And I love my tool bag. I keep it up here um, upstairs where I can get to it. It's just great. So I have a couple of uh, empty boxes that I'm going to be putting things in. Uh, the th other things I'm going to save besides the electronics in these is the plastic because I like to do things with plastic and you can melt down plastic and reform it into sheets or blocks or all different kinds of things and I'll show you a video on that later on but keep in mind that all of these plastics are different like all of the uh, laptops that I took apart the other day were all made out of number seven HDPE plastic and I don't know what these are until I get into them I actually keep uh, all the other metals out, the aluminum, the steel, and things like that. And we actually take that to the uh, metal reclamation center, and they pay us for it, which is really nice. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to start ripping one of these things apart, and I'll give you a view of it as we progress along. Okay, so I've done a little busting up. And there are always a few components that we like to hang on to just in case uh, a customer in the future might need them. We've got a keyboard, we've got a DVD player. Here's our little Wi-Fi component. I pulled it off of the motherboard and through the, uh... <laughs> the screen. Yeah, it's called a screen. We've got a gigabyte of RAM. Here's our batteries that are inside. Got a little lithium battery here and then of course, one of these little nickel-sized batteries. They can often be used. Uh, they're actually on the motherboard, and that's what's holding all of your basic information as far as your BIOS and things like that are concerned. So, got a little bit of plastic going on here. A lot of it is covered with this aluminum sheet shielding, and it's adhesive. It has to be pulled off. So, I've uh, got the screen out. And we always save those in case somebody needs one and uh, still have to remove the hinges. But you can see some of the components in here. Um, pull the, the Wi-Fi from here and then on the back side, pull the RAM. This was where the battery was and this is where the hard drive was. We had pulled it out previously uh, because we knew it was just a, a junk computer with a good hard drive in it. It was a Windows XP. And so the first thing you want to do is you'll see all of these little bitty tiny screw holes. You want to remove all the screws. You want to take out any components that you can and check for screw ho holes under them. When I went to take off the screen, of course you have to remove it from the hinges and these uh, screw holes that are back here and in this little piece all hold the hinge together and so this hinge is going to pull out it's just got a couple of little clip pieces in there and I'll use a screwdriver to pop it out now when you get that finished you can use a flat tool like a screwdriver or something like that and pull the back off now you remember that I mentioned I had a vacuum cleaner see this mess right here that's the cooling fan for the processor. That right there is what it was attached to. Look at that. See that gunk? That's just nasty. This one's kind of messed up. It's got some stuff down inside there. And you can see there's, there's, I guess they had a dog, dog hair, things like that in there. So there you go. Okay, folks, I wanted to show you what I ended up with here. Um, I've got 
a few motherboards over here that have uh, a variety of different metals in them. There's a an extremely small amount of gold on that. Um, there is more copper coating on some things. The holder for the processor here, all the processors, they all have a, a little bit of gold in them. And the thing you, you have to understand, here's a processor, and I have a variety of them here. Uh, the mister did come and steal one of my processors because he said he wanted to use it in a, another computer. But all of these little tiny pins, let's see if I can keep the shadow off of that. All of those little pins are coated in gold. Now, it is just coated in gold. It's just a metal pin under there. But if you have a whole mess of these, a few pounds of them, you might get yourself a gram or two of gold out of it. And hey, some gold's better than none. Uh, there's a very small amount on these. These are Wi-Fi strips out of, I think they were HP machines. We've got RAM here. Now, these are called what they call gold fingers, and they're not solid gold. It's coated. All of these things are just coated in gold. There are no solid chunks of gold, as well as uh, some other Wi-Fi components. They're called fingers, and you'll find a lot of those for sale on eBay. We've got some copper ribbon. We have some copper wire, and of course, sometimes it's wound up on like a little spool type thing like you'd find in a old style battery but you can see here we got more copper coating and that kind of thing um, you can sometimes sell some of these components outright on eBay but I have not bothered marking parts like you know what I think this is the push buttons for turning things on and off I think yeah that's a little push button. How cool is that? So is that one. You can push some buttons. You can make something and turn it on. Hey, anyway, we have a pretty good little cup of screws and a few springs in there from the DVD players. And then I've got a variety of other bits and pieces in there. But it was a pretty good haul today. And like I said, I've still got, I don't know, there's probably 20 any more down there that I need to do. Always lots of computers to work on as well as a lot of parts that could be disassembled and bits collected from them. And most commonly people do this for the gold reclamation um, which is kind of funny because you know if you watch the market on precious metals they it just goes all over the place. Sometimes silver's high and sometimes gold is and you know, platinum is always going to be high because there's just a, such a small amount of that on the planet. But things like that that you can look for. So it's a lot of fun if you're interested in doing it for, you know, just for fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, the processes for getting it out of the parts is relatively easy. There's a, a muriatic acid process and there's one that's the acid as well as um, hydrogen peroxide, but I'm not sure what percentage of peroxide they use on that. I'm sure it's easy to find out. But anyway, there we go. That's my junk for today. It was a lot of fun, and I think now I'm going to go and watch some of my favorite YouTube channels. So you guys have a great Tuesday, and I will see you later in the week where I'm going to be digging up some yucca root and checking out the soap quality of it. The mister ran over one with the lawnmower by accident, so I'm gonna dig the root out of the ground, and I might even take some of that uh, that frond. I think it's a Spanish sword or a Spanish bayonet type yucca, and maybe I can use the fronds and make some cordage. That'd be fun too. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.